What's up everybody, MT Certified here and today is Thursday. So today's Tune In Thursday. I do have a few video game pickups to show you, literally just a few. I have two this week, but they're two pretty significant pickups. So of course there's a story behind everything that I do. So let's jump into it. just want to start off by saying that this poster is pretty amazing, pretty cool. This uh, Injustice poster is really nice. Spoiler alert, <laughs> that's one of the games. <laughs> so um, I'm a GameStop Power Up Pro Rewards member and I've been shopping at GameStop for years. I know some people swear by GameStop, some people despise GameStop. But regardless, I've been shopping there for years. I uh, purchased most of my new games, uh, either through Best Buy or Amazon, to get the additional 20% off because that's an amazing deal uh, for me. Uh, most games that I get at GameStop or are things that I either like want immediately or like impulse buys that I just run into the store and grab, either some extras like uh, Mario Superstar cards or Amiibo cards or Amiibos themselves. Just just impulse things because I can save money if I go elsewhere. But I've, I've amassed 100,000 Power Up Rewards points as a pro member, which is pretty significant. Uh, that's a lot. That's about $100 worth of, of points that I've accumulated over the years and I've been looking and looking and looking for a reason to to spend those 1000 points and I'm a I'm a physical I'm a physical uh I'm I'm what's the word I'm looking for I like physical items I don't like digital items so when I use my points towards something I like them to be physical items which is the gripe that I have with uh, Nintendo right now is they don't have physical items for your Nintendo points. It's only digital stuff, so I don't spend them. They go to waste. So GameStop is in a collaboration with ThinkGeek, and you can buy stuff from ThinkGeek with your power-up points. And I just haven't seen anything special that I would spend those points on. So I've waited and I've waited and I've waited and I was sitting at home on Tuesday and I'm like, man, I really want Injustice 2, but I don't want to pay for it because I know the complete edition is going to come out six months later and it's going to have all the characters. So I'm like, what the heck? I have 100,000 GameStop points. Why don't I just go to GameStop and purchase Injustice 2? and pick up the season pass, just get everything in one fell swoop. And and that's pretty much what I did, kinda. But I wound up getting Horizon Zero Dawn first because as a Power Up Reward member, uh, you get this game for 40 bucks because they had a $20 off coupon. Now, I haven't played this game yet, but everybody raves about Horizon Zero Dawn and I know it's gonna be an amazing game. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get into it, but I have it. I feel like I paid a fair price for it. I know it's an amazing game. I've read reviews, I've watched you know, streams on YouTube, streams on Twitch, game videos, IGN, Kota Kotaku. Uh, I've seen it everywhere, and I know I'm gonna enjoy this game. So I was really happy to, to pick this up. If anybody has Horizon Zero Dawn and you've completed it, don't give it away for me, but let me know how much you like this game because I'd really like to get into this at some point soon. I just need the time. Maybe after graduation next week, I'll have more time, especially after work, to, to hang around and, and, and play my games and just have fun. So. That's the first of my two pickups, and where did I put Injustice? Well, once again, here's the Injustice poster that I received. Got to put this up on the wall somewhere, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. And 
the second game is Injustice 2. So I got Injustice. Um, I believe I used a $50 coupon on Injustice. So I paid 10 bucks for it. And then I used a $25 coupon on my Horizon Zero Dawn. So I paid 15 bucks for Horizon. So I ended up paying, what, 30 bucks with tax for both games, which is, which is not bad. That's actually a steal. So thank you GameStop for having physical rewards and allowing me to use my coupon to get these two games. Now, this game is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I've only played a few hours, but I've gotten like 30% into the story. The story's, the, the story's pretty good. I, I like it. It's a little quirky uh, at some points, but they allow you to you know, go around and, and play with all of the, the heroes. I hate Green Lantern. I absolutely hate the way he fights. His style, absolutely hate it. I love Green Arrow. He's my guy right now. And, and he's somebody that I need to learn the ins and outs of because I feel like he's like the perfect fighter in this game. So that's my guy is Green Arrow. But the thing that I like about Injustice is that there's a gear system. So as you fight and you progress, you get gear to customize your character. And it changes their appearance, but it also changes like their attack or their defense or their environmental um, abilities and and that's cool that is something that you just don't see in today's fighting games it's like a gear system it's like destiny but for for fighting uh pretty much and then there's like a, of course a single player campaign um it, it's very it's super deep it's it's very deep like the tutorial takes you through like the basics and then it's up to you to learn like the, the deep fighting controls and that I'm trying to still figure out uh, for myself but I said I was gonna hold off on this game and I'm glad that I didn't because this game is amazing and I recommend this game to anybody anybody that's a fan of a fighting game anybody uh, that's a fan of superhero games if you're just looking for a fighting game to play this game is everything. It's it got a 9.0 uh, out of 10 on IGN. Uh, it's getting great reviews on Metacritic. It's it's a great game, and I love it. So, I mean, that's all for this week. I feel like I have two very substantial pickups for this week, and I'm probably gonna spend quite a bit of time on these two games alone. I know E3 is coming, so there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out this summer. Splatoon 2 is coming out next month. Uh, Sonic Mania is coming out at the end of the month. We have Tekken coming out in a couple months. It's pretty packed. There's a lot of stuff coming out, but what can you do? If you're a gamer, <laughs> you got to keep it rolling. So once again, this is NT Certified. Thank you for watching. Capcom 789, you still have not redeemed your swag bag. So I'm gonna give you until this upcoming weekend to redeem your swag bag or I'm gonna reopen the giveaway uh, to, to other folks. So hit me up when you can. NT Certified, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. As always, I appreciate you. Peace. See you all on Tuesday.